One of the most effective ways to create an unbeatable visitor experience on your Shopify store and for driving more leads and sales is through a dynamic chatbot setup on your website. Now, a leading Shopify chatbot that you can simply add to your online store is called Tidio, which combines live chat, AI, sales, chatbot, and email marketing features in one easy to use platform. So today, my focus is on walking you through adding this Shopify chatbot so that you can capture more leads, increase your website visitors' experience, and ultimately drive more sales with Tidio. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into Shopify and Tidio, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and add a chatbot to your Shopify store and get you up and running with Tidio. Okay, so before we get started, what exactly is Tidio and who is it for? Well, Tidio is not just another live chat and chatbot integration. It's become more of an AI-driven customer experience management platform, which enables online stores like yours the ability to improve your customer service, drive more leads, conversions, and ultimately more sales. It's easy to set up and you can launch your first chatbot in minutes. Tidio is ideal for any Shopify store that is looking to to add intuitive chatbots to their website for optimizing customer experiences and for driving specific actions like I mentioned, capturing leads, welcoming visitors, providing support, increasing sales and more. Okay, so to get started completely for free, simply click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Now just quickly, I want to say a big thank you to Tidio for partnering with us on this video and supporting our channel. We use Tidio on our own Shopify stores and in my opinion, it's the best full feature Shopify chatbot on the marketplace, offering an excellent free plan as well as affordable and value packed premium plans for those that want more out of their chatbots and access to other marketing and AI tools. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and dive in. Now you can get started on a seven day free trial of Tidio's premium plan with a 20% discount. Simply downgrade or upgrade at any time based on what your Shopify store needs. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with Tidio for free. Here we want to create a free account by simply adding these details. Okay, so once you've added your email, new password, and your Shopify store domain, as you can see, I'm using a free Shopify store domain for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then all we need to do is agree to the terms and conditions, then come down and click on get started for free. Then here, what we want to do is quickly configure our live chat. Now we can make further changes once we arrive inside our Tidio account. So here you just want to add your name, then come down and choose a color scheme and avatar. I'm going to choose this green color and then navigate over to this avatar and then come down and use this profile picture for my avatar. And just like that, we've customized our live chat. And this is going to allow for a more personalized and comfortable experience for our website visitors. Again, you want to make sure that your color style for your live chat widget is similar to the branding and the colors on your Shopify store. Okay, so once you've made these changes, simply navigate down and click on continue. Then navigate up here and select what your main focus is and how you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on I want to talk to customers. Then add how many support agents will be using Tidio. Then come down and select your industry. For now, we're going to select online store and then add how many customers you had last month. We're going to go ahead and select just getting started and then continue. This is where we can make quick changes to our first chatbot. However, we're not going to do this until we've arrived inside our Tidio account. So for now, I'm going to navigate up to just greet them warmly and then come down and click on continue. Then what we want to do is connect Tidio with our Shopify store. To do that, go ahead and click on Shopify, then come down and add your store domain. And as you can see, this is our Shopify store domain name that we'll be using for today's tutorial, shopifycrm.myshopify.com. Then come down and click on connect to Shopify. And that's going to take you inside your Shopify store if you're already logged in. If you're not, go ahead and log in and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to install app. We need to connect our Shopify store with the Tidio live chat and chatbot app. Go ahead, click on install app. Give both platforms a moment to connect. 
and that's going to take us inside our fresh Tidio account. Now, if we navigate over here, what we want to do is add the widget to our website. This is going to display the chatbot onto our Shopify store. To do that, simply navigate down and click on Go to Shopify Theme Editor. Then simply navigate over to the left hand side and make sure that the Tidio chat widget is enabled. As you can see, this widget is enabled on my online store. If I navigate down here, you can see this chat widget down here. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and ensured that this chat widget is enabled, simply head back to your Tidio dashboard. And just like that, you've completed the initial setup and you now have a live chatbot on your online store. Next, what we're gonna do is navigate down to settings. And this is where we can further customize our widget appearance. If we navigate over to the right hand side, this is how our chat widget will appear on our Shopify store. Okay, so take the time to navigate through these details and make changes to your widget. For example, if you wanna change the position of your widget, you can do that here. You can change the label text. We can disable the widget sound if we like. And then we have other options down here to customize the way that our widget appears on our website and the chat widget displays on both desktop and mobile devices. We can also hide the widget on specific pages and we can choose to display or not display the chat when you're offline. I'm actually happy with this default configuration. However, if you like, take the time to make changes based on your own personal preferences. Now we can also navigate over to Facebook Messenger as well as Instagram and WhatsApp. And what we can do is connect these channels with Tidio. And this will allow you to handle your conversations between these different channels directly inside your Tidio inbox. So again, take the time to integrate these three channels with your Tidio account. Next, what we wanna to do to quickly optimize our workflow when it comes to live chat is simply navigate down to canned responses. And these are essentially response templates that we can set up to help us answer our most popular questions that we receive. For example, I'm going to navigate over to this canned response and then add my own response. And as you can see, I've quickly added a personalized canned response. I can make this private to only me and I can also add tags, but I'm happy with this initial tag down here. Hi. Once you've added any canned responses, simply go ahead and click on save. And we can also customize any of these templates if we like, or we can create a new canned response from scratch. Now, if we navigate down further, we have team. And here you can quickly add other operators as well as departments. You can see we only have one operator. However, if you have multiple support or sales agents, you can simply go ahead and add additional operators. Next, we also want to enable notifications. And this is important so you don't miss any incoming chats. What we're gonna do is navigate up to enable notifications and that's gonna allow notifications in your browser. I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow. You also have the option to enable notifications to your private email. And that way you'll be notified every time someone sends a chat message when all operators are offline. Again, this is based on your own personal preferences. Okay, so our live chat is configured. Now what we're gonna do is navigate up to inbox in the top left hand corner and as you can see, under unassigned, we have one message. If I click here, as you can see, this website visitor is on our website and they recently sent a message. What I can do is navigate down to join conversation and I can start engaging in this conversation. What I'm going to do is click on forward slash and I can add a canned response. I'm gonna go ahead and add this canned response that I created earlier and then click on reply. And as you can see, we're currently engaging in this conversation through live chat. However, like I mentioned, you can integrate your email, messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. If I navigate down here, you can click on can response to open up your can responses. You can also enable chatbots. And if I navigate across, we can upload media, add emojis, and even start a video call. Now you also have access to AI integrated into your chat. So again, to streamline the way that you interact with your website visitors, you can leverage AI Assistant as well as canned responses. Now, if we navigate up to the right hand side, you can see details about that website visitor, about that contact. You can also navigate up to viewed pages and you can see the pages that they've viewed. You can also see notes if you've added any notes about that visitor. And if we navigate back over to info, you can make changes down here. You can add tags, add a contact property. You can assign an operator, add a ticket, and you can also quickly send a product. For example, if a website visitor is asking if you have a particular product, you can simply navigate down here and click on send a product. And that's gonna allow you to send a product card with just one click. I'm going to navigate back and you can see that product card has been added in here. And this website visitor can simply click down here and that's gonna take them to this product page. Okay, so if we navigate back across, 
You can see that this website visitor is still live on the website and then other information like history down here. You can then navigate up to mark as solved to mark this conversation as solved. If you've completed this conversation, you also have open conversations over here as well as solved conversations. You can also manage all your emails from your customers down here too. All you need to do is connect your email inbox. Then you have your views and operators down here. Next, what we're going to do is navigate over to Lyro. This is where we can set up an AI powered chatbot using Lyro. This allows you to add a knowledge base so that the chatbot can respond to your website visitors when they ask questions about your business, products or services. For example, let's navigate down and click on start using Lyro. Here you can see some restrictions of using Tidio AI. Then come down and click on accept. Then here you have two options for adding a knowledge base using AI. I'm going to go ahead and click on generated Q&A and then click on next. Make sure you have your correct Shopify store URL in here and then click on generate. Now if that doesn't work for your Shopify store, simply click on exit and then click on add manually or navigate over to website and then click on website URL and then add your website URL in here and then click on upload. And this allows you to have naturally flowing conversations with your website visitors when they ask you anything through the chatbot. Let's navigate up to configure, then come down to activate when you're ready to activate Lyro. Here you have some handoff options and then you can choose the personality of Lyro. I'm going to navigate up to playground. Okay, so once you've added your knowledge base either through the URL or manually, then you'll be able to test Lyro with your knowledge. For example, if I navigate down here and quickly add an email and then hit send, you can see that if a website visitor asks a question like this, that is part of my knowledge base, is it just a Google Sheets template? They will get a response that has been generated with AI. Let's navigate down and test this. I'm going to ask how much the Sheetify CRM is and then hit enter. You can see Lyro is typing and you can see the response down here. Now it's important to note that if you want to improve Lyro's responses, it's best to continue to add to the knowledge base. And that's going to give Tidio AI a foundation of knowledge that they can pull together and use for their responses. So as you can see, you can use Lyro to improve your workflow and to automate the way that you deal with common questions that you receive on your Shopify store. Again, when you're ready to activate Lyro, simply go ahead and click on activate. You can also see analytics over here. Next, what we want to do is dive into chatbots. How can you increase your website visitors experience and drive more leads and sales using chatbots? Well, to do this, simply navigate over to the left hand side and click on chatbots. And the best place to start when using Shopify chatbots for the first time is leveraging templates. First, what we're going to do is navigate down to increase sales because what we want to do is drive more sales using chatbots. And if we navigate down here, you can see a bunch of templates that we can use to drive more sales. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, what I want to do is add a cart booster. Convince your customers to buy by offering them a small discount in the cart. To do that, navigate down and click on use template. And you can see the focus for this template as well as the key features. This chatbot starts when a visitor adds a product to the cart. Then it provides a 10% discount code. It also collects their email address and subscribes them to your newsletter. And this is a better solution or alternative than a pop-up. You can also navigate up to test out first if you like, but we're going to go ahead and use this template. Here you can customize the first message if you like. I'm happy with this, save on this order. Then come down and click on save. And over on the right hand side, you can see a preview of what this chatbot looks like. Here we want to customize the discount message. Here is your 10% code, enjoy shopping. Again, you can make changes to this discount message if you like, but I'm happy with this default message. It's simple, short and to the point. You can also see a preview on the right hand side. I'm going to navigate over to save. Here you can add a discount name as well as the discount value. Now the great thing about the Tidio integration with Shopify is you don't have to jump into the back end of Shopify to create this code manually. Tidio is going to automatically create this code for you. Again, I'm happy with the discount name and discount value, so I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And as you can see, please note that the coupon code will be created automatically and synced with your Shopify store. Okay, so once you've made your changes, come down and click on activate. And as you can see, our Cart Booster chatbot template is now active, and you can disable any of your chatbots at any time. If we click on these three dots, we can edit, test out this chatbot, we can show statistics, we can activate or disable, and choose to start this chatbot even when operators are offline. 
and then other options down here. I'm happy with this default information. However, what I want to do is test out this chatbot. And as you can see, when a product has been added to a cart, this chatbot will appear. The website visitor can come down and click on get the code now. That's going to open up this conversation where they can go ahead and copy that coupon code. And now they can use this code at the checkout. Okay, so this chatbot is now going to help me drive conversions. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. And now let's click on the cart booster again and then click on edit nodes. And this is where you can make custom changes to your chatbot. And these are what Tidio calls nodes. We have four nodes at the moment. Over here we have a trigger and then we have three actions. If we navigate over to the right hand side, we can add triggers, conditions and actions. If I click on triggers, these are the different triggers that we can access. For example, first visit on site and that's going to trigger the chatbot or it could be a new event, a specific event and that's going to trigger the chatbot. We also have visitor opens a specific page, form abandoned and these other triggers down here. Remember, if we navigate over to new event here, this trigger over here and click on it, you can see that this chatbot triggers when a product is added to cart. Okay, so let's close this and then navigate over to conditions. This is where you can add specific conditions that determines how that action is triggered. For example, I could navigate down here and add cart value and maybe I only want this chatbot to trigger with the 10% discount if the value of my cart is over $100. Or maybe I only want to send the discount code if there is a returning visitor. So we have these different options. Then we also have actions. For example, add a delay. You can send an email, add a tag, subscribe for mailing, or you can notify operators. There are all these different actions that you can add to your chatbots. So again, you can create a chatbot from scratch. You can use a pre-made template, and then you have the option to customize those templates the way that you like. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this and then click on close. Next, what we're going to do is navigate over to generate leads. And now what I want to do is drive leads and capture emails so that I can build my email list. I'm going to do this by enabling the lead magnet subscribe form. And this is a chatbot template. Go ahead and click on use template. And as you can see, this simple yet effective chatbot will start on the first visit, collects email addresses and subscribes to newsletter. I'm going to go ahead and click on use template. Again, here you can make changes. I'm going to go ahead and use the default information by clicking save. Then here you can make changes to this image if you like, but I'm happy with this image. So I'm going to navigate down and click on activate. Again, let's navigate up to the right hand side and click on options and then come down and click on test out. Ideally, you want to test out all your chatbots to make sure that they're functioning correctly. And as you can see, this is what my Shopify store visitors will see as soon as they arrive on my website. They can navigate down and click on subscribe me or no thanks. If we click on subscribe me, that's going to open up the chat and then add this message. Cool. What's your email then? The website visitor would simply add their email and then click on send. And just like that, the confirmation message has been sent. And it's as simple as that to drive more leads and capture emails. Okay, so let's exit out of this. Again, if you want to make any changes with your chatbot, simply click on the chatbot and then click on edit nodes. And what I'm going to do is navigate up here and delete this trigger and then navigate over to this trigger and click on edit. And I want this chatbot to trigger on a specific page. And for example, for me, maybe I only want this chatbot to trigger when a website visitor arrives or lands on my contact page. We also have a trigger limitation down here. If we click here, we can send once per 24 hours, send only once for a unique visitor or unlimited. I'm happy with send once per 24 hours. So I'm going to close this and then click on activate. Okay, so as you can see, just like that, we now have one chatbot that is designed to generate leads. We can also navigate up to add from scratch and you can build a chatbot from scratch with the purpose of driving leads. You can also add from template again, if you like. Now let's navigate over to increase sales. Under increase sales, you can see we have two chatbots. We have welcome new visitors and we also have the cart booster. Now, I recommend you take the time to navigate through all the different templates to see which chatbot will work best for your business. Now, let's navigate over to email marketing over on the left hand side. 
Tidio also allows you to engage in email marketing activities. You can simply navigate up to create new template and you can create email campaigns to send to your contacts. Remember we created a lead generation chatbot that captures email subscribers. What we can then do is engage in email marketing to drive sales and engagement. Again, you can connect a tool like I mentioned earlier, or you can engage in email marketing directly inside Tidio. Here we have some templates that you can leverage. We can also navigate up to automated flows and we can click here and we can set up automated workflows. These are email sequences that you can set up to either welcome new subscribers and over here we have an abandoned cart email sequence reminder. And you can send a sequence of emails to convince your visitors to finalize their orders and this will generate more sales. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is navigate down to customers. And this is where you can manage all your website visitors, your customers, contacts, and subscribers. Below this, we have analytics. If we click on analytics, you can see your live chat and chatbot performance. Simply analyze the leads that you've generated through Tidio as well as sales. You can see your operator's performance as well as online hours, and then performance in terms of solving issues. Okay, now what we wanna do is navigate down the page and click on integrations. And this is where you can simply integrate your favorite tools with Tidio. For example, if you engage in email marketing using other platforms like ActiveCampaign, OmniSend, or MailChimp, you can simply install the integration and connect Tidio with that email marketing platform. Again, if you use a CRM like Pipedrive, HubSpot, Agile CRM, or something else, you can simply integrate the two together so that the data flows between both platforms. So again, navigate through the different categories over on the left-hand side or search for the integration that you want to connect. Okay, so let's navigate back over to home. Now you can also download the Tidio mobile app on iOS and Android, meaning that you can engage in conversations directly from your mobile device. Now, if we navigate over to the far right-hand side and click on here, if you have any questions or need support in regards to anything to do with Tidio, you can always get in touch with their live chat 24-5 support. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Shopify chatbot tutorial. Again, I like this platform because it's not just a live chat and chatbot tool. It's more of an AI-driven customer experience management platform, which not only allows you to increase your customer service, but it also allows you to drive more sales, leads, and conversions. Again, like I mentioned, you can start using Tidio completely for free and then upgrade with 20% off at any time by using my link that you can find down below in the description. So again, get started with Tidio and increase your customer's experience, drive more leads and sales using live chat, chatbots, and AI. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Shopify chatbot tutorial using Tidio. Now if you have any questions about Tidio, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.